Funding is provided by a grant from New York State Senator Catherine M. Young, representing Western New York's 57th District with a local office in Olean. Funding is provided by a grant from Absolute Care of Westfield, committed to returning the favor to those who spent a lifetime caring for others. Absolute Care is located at 26 Cass Street in Westfield. Dave Cass and Rick Newell provide funding on behalf of the Lakeview Hotel and Restaurant at the docks located on Water Street near the lake in Mayville. From the Access Channel 5 television studio in Mayville, it's Senior Report with Reed Powers. Senior Report is broadcast live throughout northern Chautauqua County on Saturday morning from 9 to 10 a.m. each week. Call in and share a thought, make a comment, ask a question, or simply wish someone a happy birthday on Chautauqua County's only live call-in senior program. Since 1995, Reed has been bringing viewers hundreds of interesting guests informing the community on a variety of subjects. Here's the host of the show, Reed Powers. And good morning. What a beautiful day it is here in Chautauqua County. And the sun is beaming down, and they tell us it's going to be up in the 60s. How can you go wrong? The crocuses are all out. The hyacinths are all out. The, the tulips are bursting. The uh, daffodils. What a lovely, lovely time of year. And all the trees have that little mist of green in them as you, as you pass the woods. It's just fantastic. Time to get the gardens going. And uh, I guess we're going to be planting the cemetery probably in another three weeks or so. Although my grandpappy used to say, really don't plant nothing around here until Decoration Day, which is now, they converted that to a Memorial Day. <laughs> but it, it meant uh, that you went down to the cemetery, and it was the 30th of, of May, and you went down to the cemetery, and you planted flowers around your family plots and sort of visited your relatives long gone. And uh, we'll be doing that again, coming up shortly. And I want to also say that we have a great guest here today. We have Dan Schrantz. He is the uh, supervisor of the town of Portland. And he's going to talk a little bit about Portland and the, the, the uh, town of Portland. And the, there, there is no village of Portland, strangely enough, is there? <laughs> no, the village of Bracton uh, within the town of Portland. Yeah, right. Um, but there is a little place we call Portland over there. I had a house there which was burned to the ground one time. Sadly, no one was hurt, though. We also have a... Uh, uh, a good program coming up with a lot of things, uh, interesting things to go with. I, as you notice in the uh, television, you watch the television, you just can't watch it anymore. Uh, God help those poor people that were, went through the tornado. There's three or four hundred people killed in that awful uh, disaster down in the south. Fortunately, up here, we don't seem to get much of that kind of weather. Uh, hurricanes, tornado, tornadoes are very rare around here. Uh, they do occur, but not very often. And so I want to say uh, that we, oh, you asked me why, uh, I, the reason I'm wearing a black jacket, I'm all dressed to go to a, a funeral of the, one of the most beautiful people in the world who just passed away. Her name is Wilma, uh, um, Wilma Molson, and she lives in, lived in Ripley and was married to Bill Molson, and they're very well-known people in the area. They, uh, he's a retired uh, railroad man. And uh, it turns out that uh, Doc, our uh, commentator here, the, uh, the Doc uh, Hamels is married to one of Wilma's daughters. And it's just, a, it's a, she was such a lovely person, and so I'm going to the funeral, and I have to rush over there uh, to Ripley as soon as the program is over. So anyway, hats off to Wilma, and may, you, may the good Lord take care of you, dear. We have a number of things that, uh, as I said, are on TV. <laughs> Not my black jacket, but the uh, fact is that uh, the, the president visited that area that's been disaster struck. I mean, it was just horrible, the des desolation down there. Holy mackerel, Andy. And uh, the stock market is, uh, uh, other news is doing very well. Gold has gone crazy. <laughs> uh, Vanneke, I don't know what's the matter with our chief architect of our economy. A doctor in, uh, apparently in economics and everything. He's running our, our country. And he's telling us 
with a straight face on TV uh, and doing an interview, there is no inflation. <laughs> they keep telling us there's no inflation. <laughs> God, where does this man live? <laughs> where does he live? Maybe he doesn't do shopping. Every time you go to the supermarket, all of who's jumped another 5 to 10 percent. Your, my uh, taxes have jumped 9% here in the county, 25% on the state level, and the local taxes are up. Uh, my insurance jumped 20%. The, uh, the, the, the cost of living is going crazy. Gasoline is almost doubled for Pete's sake. And here there's this man who sits there and says there's no inflation. What is the matter with this man? I don't know where he lives, what planet he lives on. And he's the guy in charge of our economy. God help us. <laughs> All right, friends. Uh, so anyway, for the, the news is just horrible on the uh, national level. It just goes on and on and on and on. The dollar is sinking like crazy. Uh, it's getting, uh, our, our prices of everything we buy are just shooting up, rocketing. Seniors are not getting the COLA. The Congress has announced that, well, there's no inflation, so seniors will not get any cost of living, which they were promised. Well, they've lost about 60% of their purchasing power in the last eight, 10 years. And what are seniors going to do? They're going to do this. They're going to eat cat food because cat food is cheap still. And uh, that's what they ate during the Great Depression, I might add. And they're going to be living in their children's basements because they won't be able to afford their, their taxes even on their homes at this point. Thank you, Congress, for caring for the elderly who built this country, the seniors, the feeble, the people that need help and need care and consideration. Screw you. That's what they say. Excuse my French. But actually, the president uses that term, so it's all right on TV. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it's time we did something about this Congress. They're all rich and powerful and represent the rich and powerful, and uh, they're not representing us anymore, apparently. They don't seem to care at all about seniors, particularly, and about the rest of America, for that matter. All right, enough said about that. Locally, I guess we're uh, in pretty good shape, although they're gonna be a, there's going to be a new tax increase. They're going to raise, they're trying to raise the... Uh, sales tax again in, uh, in, our, in our county. And so the, the, the march goes on, prices keep shooting up, and the Congress is telling us there's no inflation and they don't give us any money to cover, to counter that inflation for the seniors who depend so heavily on their pensions and their social security. And they're not getting it. They're not getting the COLA which was promised. Forget promises. And of course, speaking of promises, there is a trust fund of all the excess social security for the last um, uh, three quarters of a century. Uh, yeah, there should be $8 trillion in it. There's nothing there. Congress embezzled that for the wars, which is a way of transferring the wealth to the rich through arms and tanks and, train and, and planes and all this kind of, uh, $15 bottles of, of water to Halliburton, the vice president's company, makes you nuts. You wonder how long this can go on. They're revolting all over the world, you know. You think America's going to start revolting or something. At least we can revolt at the elections, although it's very hard to find somebody who's not rich who's running, <laughs> who can run, afford to run. All right, so at any rate, enough of that. We got some nice news. I guess the good news on the American side is we're still fed anyway, barely. Lakeshore seniors have a great club over there, and uh, the president is Charlene Hallmark, a very well-known person in the area, if you want to get in touch with her. Drop in for Donia area. Irene Christopher is a really another ter terrific person there. She does a lot on breast cancer, I might add. Uh, I want to say they're having a spring gala, uh, a wonderful event, and they have all kinds of other things going on over there. And I want to say welcome back to the snowbirds. They're coming back now. They're all back just about. Uh, you know, the senior clubs dwindle down during the, during the winter because everybody takes off. Hi, Hammock and Gene Cabrera, welcome back. Silver Creek has a great little team. They have a, sh a, a show stop in place right on the corner of Route 5 and Route 20 over in Silver Creek. And boy, do they have a lovely clubhouse. And they decorate it up beautifully. And they have Ed Newman is the president. If you want to get in touch there, drop around. Ed will be very happy to take care of you. And uh, Connie, thank you for the uh, beautiful Easter decorations, past president, I might add. And, uh, they have a wonderful uh, group there. They have ice cream socials regularly. They're going to have uh, ice cream socials May 22nd, June 10th, July 16th. And these are big galas. They get together and have other things and have a great time. Entertainment will be provided August 10th also at 6 p.m. And they're having an antique road show and craft yard sale for the fall. That's going to be fun. Last time I took something there, they said, ah, we don't know anything about that. <laughs> 
Uh, they have a lot of other things to, there. This is the Dunkirk uh, Center, uh, incidentally. Dunkirk has exercise classes, crafts, penny pinochle, line dancing, hot lunches uh, for two fifty. Yeah, Monday through Thursday, uh, great social groups that meet uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, card games of all kinds. Uh, and they're renovating the center over there in Dunkirk. They have a school on 4th Street, which is just gorgeous. It's a huge place and it's just terrific. Putting in carpeting and entrance tiles uh, at the uh, foyer, officers, been painted and, oh, they've got five pictures was received too. Brand new pictures from Bob and Judy Salulica. The next area is gonna be the large meeting room. That's gonna be painted. They have a lending library there too, VCRs. This is the Dunkirk Center. Dunkirk Center is really active as could be. And you can have VCRs at the lending center, books of course, important things. And I wanna say, uh, you know, all activities are just terrific. They have a monthly newsletter, you can read them. Shared and Happy Seniors, they have their own Happy Senior song. <laughs> and I'm gonna have them come over here and sing it. I gotta do that. John Bosco Hall is where they usually meet. And they have a nice turnout. They have a big lunch with all kinds of good things. Arlene Miller does their prayers before the meal. They always have a grace. And uh, their president is Ellen Sudall, and she says, uh, we're gonna go over and uh, do the Happy Senior song. <laughs> she doesn't say that, but I think she will. Um, uh, uh, Bob Siddle is the chairman of the programs. So they got a lot of things going on over there. It's too much to talk about, but they're taking a bus trip to Erie. Lunch and show, 70 bucks, can't beat it, huh? Almost like those uh, casino trips. They charge you $20 and you get uh, $20 worth of chips or $19 worth of chips and $5 uh, chip for your lunch. <laughs> it's free <laughs> and then some. Don't gamble though. And when you go to the casino, take the free chips, run them through. If you lose, walk away. If you win, walk away. <laughs> That's all you do. And you have fun at it too. Uh, there's gonna be Forestville seniors have a nice little thing going on here. Uh, they're going to have a mother-father luncheon at the Cusiosa Club, May 19th, at noon. Can't beat that. Dunkirk Federated, again. Uh, Loretta Hemmick is the uh, president over there. And Treasures Report is read by McCoyack, Ruth McCoyack, an old friend who does the job. And the new uh, uh, elected officers, all the uh, clubs have officers, but uh, we have Hemmick, Vice President, Helen Barone, Secretary Wazinski, and Treasurer Ruth McCoyack. Mount Carmel has a nice little club. Carm Tampio, nowhere, drop in, say hello. They meet regularly and they have a great crowd there. And they're gonna have a Mother Day, uh, Mother Day, Father Day luncheon on June 1st at 1230. Drop in, have some fun and welcome back. Vito Paticello, Ed Newman and Lori Newman. Hey, the snowbirds are flocking in. They're gonna have a trip to the, San, San, to the Seneca Allegheny Casino on uh, April 27th. You wanna go down? April 27th, too late. <laughs> oh, oh. They were, they were, they're looking for new members. All the clubs need new members. Okay, we're going to take a brief moment of quiet, a, a brief moment of, we have a, a, a special uh, uh, announcement just for you, and this is free and fun. Here. Eat well and move a lot, and move a lot, and move a lot, eat well and move a lot. 60 minutes of physical activity a day and eating well can help get your child healthy. So keep them active and eating well every day. Skipper rope Saturday, freeze tag Friday, tap dance Thursday. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. That's letsmove.gov. Okay, I have one announcement that just came in. The Methodist Church in Westfield is having a giant rummage sale today. This is April 30th. Some of you will watch this show down the road. Don't you go over. But today, 9 to 2, go over and pick up some stuff. There's a lot of stuff there. I've got a guest here, a special guest for... Uh, Doc Hamels, who's attending his mother-in-law's funeral, and his name is Chris Burt, and he does a job here. He's one of our top, top engineers. He has also been with us for many, many, many long years, and he hosts the show occasionally. Good morning, Chris, Digital Cable. Good morning, Reed, how are you? I'm fine, considering okay. how old I am. <laughs> uh, the biggest 